Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video is we're gonna learn about Shopify Dawn theme header customization. So if you're gonna go ahead and try to customize the header of your Dawn theme on Shopify, then you're onto the right video. So your store's header is very crucial for creating a unique brand identity. So let's gonna go ahead and make it stand out. And if you're excited to get started, let's gonna go ahead and do a quick overview onto what is Shopify first for those who didn't know. So Shopify is a complete commerce platform that lets anyone start, grow, manage, and scale the business. So it enables businesses to build an online store, market to customers, and accept payments across multiple sales channels and location all in one place. So Shopify's expertise and leadership in commerce is based on the experiences of millions of business owners using the platform. So the success of these businesses, solopreneurs, and enterprise brands alike show Shopify to build the right features and products to power businesses today and help shape the future of commerce. So as you can see in here, you could sell to every buyer everywhere. So there is also a fast, reliable checkout for that. So this is the best converting checkout on the planet and the point of sale, which is flexible point of sale to power your retail store. So as you can see, there are some built-in marketing tools that it offers when you could reach new leads, engage with customers, and some data that you can build on. So you could streamline your back office for that, wherein you could oversee your operation, fulfill every order, and manage your money where you make it. So there are also some people in here onto their website wherein um, chooses Shopify and also they have shared their insights in here onto how Shopify has helped them for that one. So before we're going to go ahead and try to um, dive onto signing up or logging in for that, let's going to go ahead and try to take a look onto the pricing first. And as you can see, here are the different pricing that Shopify offers. So there's actually a free trial that you could use for seven days, but right after that, there are um, three options so you could pay monthly as well or yearly for this so we have the basic which is the most popular for individuals and small businesses starting at 25 dollars per month the shopify for small businesses wherein you could level up your business with professional reporting and more staff accounts at 65 dollars and advance for medium to large businesses to get the best of shopify with custom reporting and the lowest transaction fee so that is around 399 dollars per month and you should be able to get this first three months for one dollar so onto all of the plans and these are the different inclusions onto the different plans so you go ahead and try it for free also you could compare the different plan features in here and you don't have to worry since all of the features that is um, featured above has all of these features in here they all already have an online store a sales channel a point of sale and a 24 7 support and for us to be able to get started we're gonna go ahead and start a free trial on to shopify so you'll just need to complete the process of signing up by adding your email and password or you could connect your own account already for that or if you have an account already just simply click on to login to get redirected onto shopify's dashboard so as you can see in here there is actually a setup guide or this personalized guide to get your store up and running if you're just starting out just like me. So there are four steps in here and you could add your first product, customize your online store, add a custom domain and name your sto store. So for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and focus on to this customize your online store. So I have customized this already, but we could customize the header further for our Dawn theme. So here onto the left side, you should be able to see different things like the home. So this is the home section of it. You could see your orders, products, your customers, content analytics, marketing discounts, the sales channel where you could see your online store and the point of sales and the apps where you could go ahead and integrate some apps in here. So you have the settings as well, the notification and your account settings, and also a search bar so that you could go ahead and easily search for anything in here. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to head here onto the sales channel or below this, which is the online store. So if you click onto online store, you could see the themes, blog posts, pages, and navigation and preferences. And for us to be able to edit the settings or the header is we'll need to head onto the themes so that we could go ahead and try to check as well if we're already using the Dawn theme. So this is our current theme as of the moment right now. You could see when it was last saved and what is the version of it. So we could go ahead and customize this further so that we could go ahead and beautify our header. So to start customizing, we'll just have to click on to customize here. And then right after, you'll get redirected onto this page where we could go ahead and try to update. So as you can see, this is the home page. So there are a lot of options that you could see in here. We have the header and template and app so we're going to go ahead and focus on to this header part so as you can see we have the announcement part already for that 
let's head back we could also see the welcome to restore and this one which is the header so we're going to focus on the header we're going to click onto that and as you can see this is the current header that we have onto our design so as you can see we have the desktop logo position for this we could go ahead and move this to top left tap center middle left and middle center so you could just choose that one in here wait for it to upload so i could go ahead and try to move it like that as well so we'll just need to choose onto which one do you prefer and i kind of prefer this one the middle center so we're going to choose that we could also edit your logo in the theme settings and for the menu in here so you could change this so click onto the draw down menu click on to change menu and then you should be able to see the different options in here if you want to add a footer menu or a main menu so we're just going to leave it as it is for that one and then also there is this, a desktop menu type so you could choose if it would be a drop down mega menu and drawer so we're going to go ahead and try to click onto that so if drawer you should be able to see it like this and if mega menu so you should be able to see it like this and for drop down so this is what it should look like so there are different things that you could choose from and i kind of like the drawer one so that it would go ahead and um fixed or put in here all of the menu in here so that it would be a um, very um, comfortable and easy to the eyes so i kind of like that one so here we also have the sticky header so on scroll up you could just um have this one in here if you scroll up onto your um, website so this should not move so you could um add it in here always or always reduce logo size like that or just choose which one which one do you prefer so um i actually um want you to go ahead and try to um, try it out once you click it so that you'll know as well onto what are its function so that you would know as well what it would look like so as you can see we have the show separator line as well now right after we could also choose the color for this so the color scheme in here so we could try to change that or you could edit this there are a lot of schemes that it offers so as you can see in here there are five we could go ahead and try to change this to blue or we could try to change this to black so i kind of like this one the black one or you could try to change this to gray so that it won't be too dark and just make sure that it is actually matching the one that you have onto your design now also you could edit this your all of your themes colors you'll just need to head here onto the theme settings so uh, the same thing you could go ahead and also change the color of your menu so also you could um click this track box to enable country or region selector so you could remove that if you don't like that here for that and then right after there is also a language selector for that so you could add this to choose some language the mobile layout so it is actually very important to have this one edited as well so that it would match onto what you want it to look like onto the mobile layout so we're going to go ahead and have this one on the center we could adjust the spacing for the bottom margin in here we could just go ahead and try to um, move this one out so that you should be able to see it in here so as you can see if you have this bigger we could have a big space for that but i kind of prefer not having a bottom margin also a section padding wherein you could change the top padding in here and the bottom padding as well so we're gonna go ahead and try to match this too so that it would be um onto the center now right after you could also click on the theme settings in here so that you could go ahead and try to add in different links in here add in a logo and also the custom css when you could add a custom style using a css in here so to add a custom style to your entire online store you need to go to the theme settings for that and then right after once everything is all set and you have already edited your header in here you could go ahead and try to click on to save in here so that all of the um, changes would be saved so that's just basically it on to editing your shopify header done theme and if you think this has been helpful to you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and we'll see you on to our next video